That's what happens when you're a new poster. I meant to show a bunch more of this earlier, but I just finished doing these four shirts, all three different uh, patterns, and but all four same dyes. Uh, we had the uh, fuchsia red, the um, sea glass, sea foam, and this one I've yet to be able to pronounce whatever that is and I'm about to start my first yin and yang we'll see how it goes but I use the hot water I use a half a jug of just tap water hot tap water in the Martinelli's uh, jugs there and then heat up my uh, tea kettle pour half the tea kettle in each jug and then just go through the water where it's not so hot it burn burns your hand you still need to have some kind of protection and then uh you start adding the dye oh here we go maybe if i get it in frame huh so i'm just gonna do like a little bit of this here kind of show you how it goes and then at the end i'll reveal all five shirts and we should be ready in a couple hours all right and now the reveal Right, this is my yin and yang. I'll be keeping it. These are the four you've seen on the rack. This is a men's 4X polyester and uh, cotton. Didn't take very well. The rest of these turned out pretty nice. But they're all uh, kid sizes. Well, smaller sizes. Uh, kid, the kids ones I haven't put up yet. But that's the fourth one and the ones you've seen there, all hot irrigation. These are the reverse dye. They were custom ordered from some neighbors across the street. They wanted two shirts. And the deal I have with family and friends, you bring me three shirts. I'll do two, the same pattern, or the same colors, but different patterns. And you get to pick two and I get one. But I gave them a two for two deal on this one. They loved them. And this was her shirt she uh, picked out here. It, she had, They all asked for these colors. And these next two here, I got at the secondhand store. I think they turned out pretty good. It's kind of light, not too much. This next one with the embroidery on it. I love that how the embroidery is polyester and it didn't take and I think it looks great. And these next next ones here are just a couple random shirts. Uh, filling up space. Well, well, I did them this week, but they were just uh, had them in the bucket, had to do something with them, so, and they are the kids' ones, so they are a little bit harder. You know, a couple, two twists, and you're already there. There's no sense in using the microwave lid for that. But I love the microwave lid, it really works. And this last part, one coming up next is the heart one I did for the neighbor's son. And uh, for his girlfriend. And Steph at Belladonna Dye Company. Marbling worked out great, I think. Thanks for your suggestion. This was another yin and yang. I like the one I'm wearing better, I think. And these are my tapestries I started. After you've seen the failed one from last week, I think I'm getting a little bit better. Yep. Yeah. Well... I hope you enjoyed these. These were all last week's videos and I hope to have more next week. Take care everybody.